You're watching the KUSI News at 6.30. And it's a look at the future of healthcare. Palomar Medical Center shows off some state-of-the-art technology that you won't find anywhere else. It looks like something out of Star Trek, and it's going to change the way hospitals care for patients. It sure is. It's a new wearable monitoring system, and Palomar Medical Center is the only place that you're going to find it right now. Gary Manning from Sotero Wireless is here to tell us about it, and you're wearing one right now. I am indeed. This yes. is called the VC. It's called Visi Mobile. Mm -hmm. Visi for vital signs, mobile, because it's intended for those mobile patients that are in the hospital. Now, how many vital signs does it actually uh -oh. measure? I hear it going off What's right going now. What's going on? So it's telling you that my heart rate is a little high. <laughs> so it's uh, actually cameras, measuring. Cameras and lights will do that sometimes. You know? It's actually measuring five vital signs. It's the essential vital signs that most caregivers and, and nurses will take on a routine basis for most patients that are in a hospital. That's heart rate, that's respiration, breathing rate, mm -hmm. sa saturation of oxygen, blood pressure, and skin temperature. Hmm. Now these devices, they go around your wrist, mm -hmm. and uh, right now they're being used in the hospital. They are. So Palomar Medical Center is one of the most advanced hospitals that we have, certainly within this, this county and probably across the nation. But it's really focused on using technology to be able to improve patient safety and lower costs. And they've adopted um, mm -hmm. this Visi Mobile as the first hospital in the nation to be able to do that. So it, they're using it in hospitals. What about in-home use for patients? We have a clear vision to be able to go to home, and clearly that's an advantage. But right now, we're going to be in the hospital environment. Uh -oh. um, but yes, of course, we'll yeah. go to the home. Uh -huh. All right, so give us a laundry list of uh, types of patients that would benefit from wearing this cuff. So most people in a hospital are on the general medical surgical floors. And then you'll have a portion of the patients that are in intensive care or cardiac telemetry and so on. We actually targeted the general floor population, which is about 60% of all hospital patients. Those patients tend to have nurses that will go to their bedside, they'll take their vital signs every few hours, and then chart them and hope that they be able to detect mm -hmm. a deterioration. What we'll be able to do with Visi is give more vigilance to that patient, providing an extra safety net of monitoring the vital signs all the time, and telling the caregivers when they want the information, but also when they need it so they can intervene if there was a deterioration. Now, we're just about out of time. Real quick, you're wearing it on your thumb. You've got a monitor or, or device on your, on your I arm. I do. I have a cable that goes around the base of the thumb, and I have another cable that goes up to the chest. Also, real quick, the FDA has approved this. Does the medical, insur your medical insurance plan cover this as well? Well, it's, it comes under the hospital DR, what's known as DRG. So it's because we're monitoring patients in hospitals anyway, so, so it's not necessary to go for a hospital insurance or medical insurance. It is is FDA cleared, which is why it's been in use at Palomar Hospital for the last two weeks. Very good. Very interesting. The wave yeah. of the future, it looks yeah. like. Gary Manning with Sotera Wireless. Appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Mm -hmm.